No of it. The settlement looks quite festive. The Yule celebration is here. It's midwinter, Eivor. Time to drink, fight, and compete in hopes of a bounteous harvest. Yolnir, the Yule God, smiles on us. The days will soon grow longer, my friend. It's all a glorious rebirth about to begin. And you did all this? Not exactly. On a scouting mission, Sunyva and I met a group of... Uh, uh, we call them revelers. They did most of the work. Sunyva's manning the fistfight tournament. <laughs> all in good fun. Meanwhile, I have opened my own shop. Rather than silver, we use what I call Yule tokens. I made them myself. They certainly look homemade. Thank you, yes. Now, before we begin our celebrations, we need to get the brewery and the cattle farm ready for the Yule Feast. And you'd like me to do that, I suppose? I would. And since I'm so fond of you, have some Yule tokens. I expect to see you at the celebrations later. Perhaps I should take a look. This looks worth trying. A drinking game always is. <laughs> the rules are, one, you drink until you're the last one standing. Two, end the rules. <laughs> Want to play? Of course. Quite the guzzler. Try again any time. What's happened here? Abel's here. Thank the gods above. Though it seems they have forsaken us. I am sorry to tell you, Eivor. Tekla is gone. What? Dead? No, no, no. She's on an errand and left her apprentice in charge. It was him who did all this. Who is this apprentice? A fellow called Ake. He'll know what happened here. You need to find him. Me? Why not you? Somebody's got to clean up this mess. Besides, I'm startlingly drunk. You go on. My cup has run dry. 
How is anyone meant to survive without something to drink? I need to drown my sorrows. Go, my eyes. That must be okay. It would seem drunks are not the best trackers. They will fear my very name. There they are. Down there. But where are the barrels? You. Are you Arke? Who's asking? Do you not know me? I am Tekla's friend Eivor. I want to know why you left her brewery in shambles. Take that back! I'd never do such a thing! It was those Saxon bandits! And I'm gonna <laughs> slay every last one of them! Bandits. In Ravensthorpe. They seem nice enough. I invited them to try Tekla's new brew. We get drinking, and the next thing I wake up, and the barrels are gone! Now that you're here, we can solve this together. With our fists! You got bandits drunk. They behaved as bandits do, and now you seek violence. Okay. You're not in a state to solve problems. Oh, no? Well, how about I show you the kind of state I'm in? You'll see how a brewer fights. Lower your fists. We can go back to the brewery until you sober up. Enough talk! Have at me! I will be the greatest brewmaster who ever lived! Get out of my way! I've got to find the bandits! I will be the greatest brewmaster who ever lived! Stop this! Calm down! No fair! I wasn't ready! Okay, go back to the brewery. I traveled across the sea to study under a master brewer. Tekla entrusted me with her finest ale, and I lost it. If you knew what it was like to fear losing the faith of the one you admire, you would not be so callous. I will make you a deal. We will go get the barrels back. But I will do it. You wait at the boat. No more fighting. Very well. It must be with the bandits. Call if you need help. Between you and me, your, your left jab could use a little work. This is Tickless. I don't know those barrels anywhere. She truly is a master. Now, to get this back to Aki's boat.
Tegla's ale is safe. Thank you, Eivor. You are a hero among heroes. My final request would only be that we keep this matter between us. That I can do. I got a few of these Yule tokens from Norvid. Happy to spare them as payment for your kindness. Perhaps you can spend them on some fighting lessons. Suniva, Norvid told me you'd set something up. A fighting competition. The greatest fighting competition this land has ever seen! Any rules? Yes. The rules are simple. Fight, drink, fight! And remember, Eivor, the more participants, the bigger the pot. If you ever find any willing fighters, bring them to join in. Now! Are you ready to begin, my powerful friend? You know I'm ready.
She bested every fighter in the ring and drank enough to kill a mid-sized ox. Ava! Champion of the Yule Brawl! Well fought, Eivor. Let us do this again next year. What is all this? You shoot as many spinning targets as you can, as quick as you can. Care to give it a go? Put a bow in my hand. Take a moment to center yourself, and then go. Not bad, but I'm sure you can do better. Try again if you like. Hey, my boy. I said to take care. Did I not say to take care? Winfrith, Bertham, you look dour for festival goers. I'm not dour, I'm furious. My fool of a son released the cattle we were raising for the feast. Just let them go. You let them go? Why? Would you believe it's because I am a lone wolf who says, damn the rules? Would you believe I took them to the river for one last graze? But one of the cows looked at me strangely, and I got scared. <laughs> that I believe. Do you want me to get them back for you? Take bear them with you. Perhaps you can protect him from the terrifying cattle. Go on, love. Go with Abel. Very well. Where were you when the cow frightened you? Uh, across the river. That away. I'm not genuinely afraid of cattle, but the look in this one's eyes, I thought it might hurt me. They're big cows. Perhaps this is an opportunity to overcome that fear you claim not to possess. What is happening over there?
This is where it happened. They shouldn't be too far. Good. Let's begin tracking. There's one. What do you say we turn this into a hunt? A quicker slaughter and fresh meat for the All feast. All right. But I won't get too close. Mm. All right. One down. That should mean three to go. You think it's strange that I don't know how to hunt? I think it's unusual. I would be happy to teach you, Bertha. Much as I imagine you'd rather be taught by Maida. <laughs> no. I think I would rather learn from you. Follow them, and keep your eyes open for your errant cattle. Look there, Bretham. Another cow. And your first lesson. Oh. All right. Show me. I understand this is daunting. Even domesticated creatures possess a worthy strength. And so, even in slaughtering and eating them, you must show them respect. I do not begrudge you your fear. Thank you. I begrudge myself quite a bit. I feel quite foolish. Bertham. Tell me more about Maida. You're quite taken with her. Oh, yes. She's a remarkable person. Always makes me laugh. <laughs> and an amazing husband. She's just so brave. Skilled. Strong. And, you know, pretty, too. You're fond of her. Imagine how she feels, huh? Fancy by a... Silly boy who's afraid of cows. I hope you aren't too annoyed that you need to look after me today and clean up my mess. If anything, there's. Oh, oh, there! I see the last well one! Well done. Did you see that, Eivor? It took me a moment to believe it. Fine work, Kaufira. You have overcome your enemy. Please don't make that my new nickname. Ah, I will think on it. Collect the meat, then we'll return to the farm. Thank you, Eivor. <sighs> This part is tougher than I thought. <sighs> Maida won't believe I've done this, nor will my mother. Bertham, were you really scared by a cow? That seems unlikely for a farmer's boy. Well, if I tell you what really happened, will you tell anyone? Never. It's... It's to do with Maida. She's always saying I'm so soft and... sweet and kind and lovely. All good things. It's terrible. Who wants sweetness? I want to be brave and manly. I thought if I let the animals go, I could hunt them myself and show her I was a good provider and strong. Then I took out my bow and the cow did look at me and I did get frightened. So that part isn't entirely false. There's nothing wrong with having a good heart. I'm sure Maida's fond of you because you're a kind young man. No. Not in Thank you, Abel. I hope you're right. But all the same, I do intend to brag. 
Just a little. I feared asking this of Maida, but do you ever feel sorry for the creatures? That you must hurt them so? I do not seek to cause them suffering. I aim for the heart, that it might be a quick death. I can't imagine being so skilled. Maida is... Spare them! Did you manage not to hurt yourself? Winfrith, I give you your son, Bertham, the Beast Slayer. <gasps> the Beast Slayer! Oh, you should have seen me out there, Mother. I was a terror with an arrow. But I should go. Go? Where? I want to show Maida while the blood is still fresh. See you at the feast. Well, Avo, thank you. Whatever you did out there, I'm pleased for it. <laughs>